Good evening everyone. It's Jenna here from Jenna's Crafting Studio. Uh, it's Saturday evening and I'm jumping on tonight to do a little crafting with you. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that everything is set up okay. Looks like everything's good here. On Facebook. So if you're joining in with me, say hi. Um, let me know that you're here, that you're watching live, or if you're watching on the replay, leave a comment and let me know that you watched on the replay. Um, just looking forward to doing a little crafting with you tonight. I hope you had a good day. Um, today was a beautiful day out, nice and sunny. I thought it was supposed to rain, but we didn't seem to get any rain. Um, actually worked a little bit this morning. Um, I work for an accounting firm, so... As you can imagine, this time of year is a little busy. We're just, um, tomorrow's the deadline for, well, actually Monday's the deadline for filing T4s and T5s. So um, I was just going into the office to get a little caught up um, before tax season officially begins. Um, don't know if you've worked on your taxes yet or if you're one of those people who leave it to the last day. Um, normally I try to get mine done early because then I don't have to worry about it later, but honestly I haven't really started putting my information together. But anyways, um, so that's enough <laughs> about that and tax season. So tonight let's um, do some crafting. Uh, tomorrow is the deadline um, or the end date for celebration. So celebration is the most wonderful time of the Stampin' Up! year. It's a time where you earn free exclusive product from our celebration brochure for every $60 and $120 order. Um, so tomorrow is the last day to take advantage of that. If there are items in your craft stash that need to be replenished, like cardstock, adhesives, that type of thing, now is the time to do that because you're going to earn that free product on items that you would normally purchase anyways. So let me flip around my camera and I'm going to show you one of the celebration rewards here. Um, and we'll do a little crafting. Okay, just give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So, like I said, celebration ends tomorrow. This is the celebration brochure um, that we've had going on. So this is a brochure where you can earn free exclusive product with every $60 and $120 order. Tonight I'm actually going to show you the Berry Blastings stamp set and the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. This is my absolute favorite designer series paper in this brochure. I really love the bright colors. Um, and this is a great reward because for with every $120 order, you're getting both a stamp set and coordinating paper. So that's a great deal. Um, those two items you get for free with $120. Um, so I'll show you the paper. So this is the paper that comes with the reward. This is a sample of the papers, um, both front and back side. And these are all of the coordinating colors. So as you can see, there's quite a few colors that coordinate with this designer series paper. Okay, and then this is the stamp set. So there are some sentiments in a scripty font, um, and then there's some two-step stamping stamps here. So you have the outline stamps and then the fill-in stamps. You could use the outline stamps and then color them in with your blends or watercolor pencils. So there's the raspberry here, the fruit and the stem. There's some vines and then the blueberries and a leaf. Okay. This set also coordinates with one of the sets in the mini catalog. So I'm just going to show you that here. It's the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, which actually is selling so well that right now we currently can't get it. Um, this set will actually be, um, will become available again. So this stamp set you'll see here, the Sweet Strawberry, the fonts coordinate with the Berry Blessings. And as well, the images, we have the same two-step stamping. And the Sweet Strawberry also coordinates with the Strawberry Builder Punch. So you could use this paper and the stamp set along with this stamp set and the punch. There are strawberry designs in the paper, so that would work really well with this bundle in the catalog. 
Um, I'll show you some samples that I have with the designer series paper and the stamp set. So I have a couple of cards that I actually received in one of our team swaps. So this is one of them. Um, this one is done by Leanne Picard and she's used the paper here from the designer series pack. Um, the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, and then one of the sentiments from the Berry Blessing stamp set. So there's that one. Then I actually received another swap using the same paper and stamp set. So the, all of these images are from the Berry Blessing stamp set. The paper, of course, coordinates. Um, this one is done by Nancy Trickner. And then this card um, was one that I featured in a class in January. And this is uh, using the Sweet Strawberry Bundle stamp set and the Strawberry Builder Punch on the paper. And actually, I think I fussy cut those. I didn't cut them with the, the Builder Punch. But then there's two papers here that are also from this um, Designer Series paper pack. So those are three samples showing the paper and the stamp set. And then what I want to show you tonight is this card. Okay. So this card is what I would consider a sweet and simple card. We're using designer series paper, stamped image, some punches, and an embossing folder. And I just realized that I didn't bring my machine over, so let me grab that. So I've got my stamp and cut and emboss machine ready to go here in a minute. But what I'm going to do first of all is cut my card base. So I'm using the thick basic white, um, as you know, basic white is uh, one of our newer card stocks that replaced Whisper White. Um, and I like to use the thick basic white card stock when I'm doing card bases. So this is one sheet of eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna cut it at five and a half inches. Here. And so then you get two card bases out of this. So then I'm going to flip my card stock and score at four and a quarter. So this lighter blade on the trimmer is the score blade instead of the cutting blade, so that's giving me a nice score in the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my bone folder out here. Folding the card base in half and then scoring on that fold line there. Okay. Then I have my other pieces of paper here. So I have this is Granny Apple Green cardstock. It is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. And on this card, I'm using the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. I thought this would be great. Kind of reminds me of a, a basket or a crate, and I thought that would work nice with the fruit designer series paper. So this embossing folder you can find in the annual catalog. So I'm just going to place my cardstock in here and line it up so that I'm getting the impression evenly. And then I've got my big uh, stamp and cut and emboss because this uh, folder is too big for the mini. So I'm using my base plate and then one of the clear plates on top. That through. Okay, get rid of the machine. And so then we have our embossed piece, piece of paper. So on this embossing folder, you kind of get two different sides. So there's the side that has the impressions in it, and then the other side where you have the raised up um, part of the embossing folder. So for me, myself, I like to use it with the bumpy side down on the card. So I'm going to take Actually, before we do that, I'm going to put my ribbon on. So the ribbon I've chosen for this card is the metallic edge ribbon. So this is the silver edge ribbon. It's a white ribbon with the silver stitched on either side. This is a great versatile ribbon. Um, if you don't have a lot of ribbons in your stock, this is a good one to get because this one you can actually color with the blends. So you could take white ribbon and depending on what color of blends you have, you can create lots of different colors of ribbon. So I'm just going to wrap it around the middle of the card and just trim it off. Um, kind of fold it down here and flip it over. And then I'm using just my tape runner, my stamp and seal, 
to adhere it on the back. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And actually before I glue all this together, I'm going to make sure all my other pieces fit. So with the designer series paper, what I've done um, with that is I've pulled in the postage stamp punch. This punch is a new punch in the annual catalog. It coordinates with the stamp set in the annual catalog. It also coordinates with the um, party punch stamp set, which is actually available in the celebration catalog. Also, if you have an order of $350 or more, you get this bonus host um, stamp set. So this punch party, this the stamp set at the top here, actually coordinate with this punch also. Okay, so I've got a sheet of the designer series paper. This one is beautiful uh, bold blue, so it's Pacific Blue and Knight of Navy on this side in the plaid. And then the blueberries are in Pacific Point and Knight of Navy as well. And then the greens are uh, Garden Green and Green Apple Green. So I'm going to cut three of these postage size stamps out of here. I've got these, and then I'm going to mat them with some Pacific Point cardstock. So I'm just doing a small border around the edges of the designer series paper. So I need this paper to be 2 and 1 8 inches wide. And then the length, that is the length, the width is an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut three of these this way. So. When you're using the trimmer, the very right edge is an inch and a half, so I'm just sliding it right to the edge because I know that's an inch and a half in the length. Okay, so I've got three of those. And I'm going to use my stamp and seal and adhere the designer series paper um, to the mats. So you can see on this one I did a, a different pattern. I picked um, two of the fruit and then one of the plaid. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm just using a little bit of stamp and seal and then lining them up. And then you can see you get like a postage stamp look to that with that punch. It's a really cute, simple punch. You could use it on um, a greeting. So you could have like a postage stamp looking greeting. Okay, so I've got my three there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just make sure that, yes, they're all going to fit. So I'm going to take my stamp and seal and just put a bit on here and glue the green apple green onto my card base. Just lining it up in the middle here. There we go. And then I'm going to glue my three rectangles onto the card. So I'm going to start in the middle so that I know that it's somewhat centered. I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'll glue the one on either side. Again, just using stamp and seal to glue these on. Oops. And there we go. Got the three on there with the ribbon. So next I'm going to stamp my greeting. So the greeting, I've also used a punch. So this is the double oval punch. This is also available um, right now in the mini catalog. So I'll just show you. And it coordinates with the stamp set. So this is the oval occasions stamp set. And it coordinates with this um, double oval punch that I'm using here. So this stamp set has a lot of great greetings in it. Not just for Easter, which you can see they're using here, um, but there's a wide variety of occasions. So there's, you know, if you're going to do treats, uh, there's a sentiment for that. There's a baby one, happy birthday, thank you. So that's a, a great, versatile stamp set, and you can get it in a bundle with the punch and save 10% on that. So with a greeting and a punch, most often I will stamp first and then punch it out because then that way I know 
I have a better chance of my greeting being centered in the punch. So I'm using the Bountiful Blessings stamp from the Berry Blessings stamp set. So I'm using the, the smallest greeting there in Pacific Point ink and I'm just going to stamp in the middle of this scrap of white cardstock. And then with the punch, I've left too much at the bottom. I'm just going to trim this up a bit. So I'm just lining this up in the middle of that bottom oval and then punching it. Okay, so there's my greeting. And then I have a scrap of Pacific Point cardstock. I'm just going to slide that in the oval punch and I'm going to punch the top. So this punch really gives you two for one. It's a layering with the scalloped edge and the straight edge of the oval. And then I'm just going to use my adhesive here and glue one on the other. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm going to put this on the card. So because I wanted to go over the ribbon, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, if you try to glue it on flat, you might get a, a bit of a, a lift to it, it might lift off of the ribbon. So I'm going to actually use a couple of the mini Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put them on the top and the bottom so that the ribbon can sit in between. Okay, so I've got four of these mini Stampin' Dimensionals here. I'm just going to put that to the right, right over top of the ribbon. And then the last thing I want to do is create a knot on the left hand side of this card. If you can hear that meowing, that is my cat, Small Fry, who, I don't know, since I started doing videos, has decided that she likes to come and participate in them. Um, so that is her meowing in the background. Okay, so I've taken a smaller piece of the metallic edge ribbon. I'm sliding it under the ribbon that I've adhered on the card here, and I'm just tying a knot to the left on this card. Okay, and then because my tails are quite long, I'm just going to trim these up um, with some angle cuts in my paper stamps. Okay, and that's the card for tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you are looking to place an order to take advantage of celebration, um, if you place an order online at my website here and use the February host code, in addition to earning celebration rewards on a $60 or $120 order, if you use this code and you spend $50 or more, you will get the February hostess reward, which is a pack of basic white um, envelopes, which will fit this size card. Um, so make sure that you enter this host code there. Um, that is good until tomorrow at noon. Um, so take advantage of that. And if you have any questions about celebration, if you're um, if you have any questions about any of the the products or how to place an order, please let me know. Um, just send me a message or put a comment below on this video. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and take care and enjoy the evening. Take care.